Our fourth graders have been working on the IB unit, how we organize ourselves. In this unit, students have been learning about human-made systems, like government systems and everyday inventions that are systems. Our central idea is that humans may create systems that can solve problems and support human endeavors. In this summative project, students selected an invention to do research on. In their research, students had to answer a series of nine questions. One, how is your invention a system? Two, describe your system. Three, why was your system made? Four, what would happen if your system had never been made? Five, how does your system work? Six, who invented your system? Seven, how has your system changed over the years? Eight, how has your system made life easier or harder? And nine, how has your system affected the environment? In the student's presentation of their research, students were required to write an informational essay. Students were given three options to present their projects. One, students could present their essay through a speech. Two, they could present their essay with a poster. Or three, they could present their essay through a PowerPoint. And now our students would like to share and present their hard work to you. Hi, my name is Michael Velas Ojeda. Today I'm going to be presenting my PowerPoint about solar chargers. What is the invention? This invention is the solar charger. You're probably wondering how the solar charger looks like, or its description. The solar charger, all solar chargers have a different appearance, but they all have a resemblance to each other. This similarity is that they all have a blue or black solar panel. Who invented the solar charger? Well, the solar charger was invented by Charles Fritz. Why was the solar charger invented? The reason the solar charger was invented is because French felt the need of finding a renewable energy source. How does the solar charger work? The solar charger works by absorbing sunlight's power and transforming it into electricity, which you can use to power objects. How has the solar charger changed? The solar charger has changed over the years. Before it used to be way less efficient, being only 1% efficient. But now, luckily, scientists have been able to modify the solar charger into being 45% efficient. What would happen if the solar charger was never invented? If the solar charger was never invented, people would not be able to transport renewable energy. They would be stuck using solar panels in their house and not being able to charge their phone using solar power outside of their houses. How does the solar charger affect life? The solar charger has affected life by allowing people to transport renewable energy outside of their houses. How does the solar charger affect the environment? The solar charger affects the environment in a positive way because it reduces the amount that fossil fuel needs to be removed from the ground. Removing fossil fuel from habitats of animals can cause great harm to both the habitat and the animal. That was my PowerPoint. Thank you for listening. Inventions, inventions. We all need them. Which is why I, cre I Thomas Edison, created the light bulb. People use it all over the world and it can be in many different shapes. Let me talk about my childhood. It wasn't really great. I was born on February 11, 1817 in Malin, Ohio. I had seven siblings and I had gotten an ear infection. It made me half deaf. Then came school. Most of them wouldn't accept me because I was hyper. So my mother homeschooled me. I was very smart that I teach myself in high school. 
Then I got married. But my first wife died by sickness. So I got married again. Now I'm going to tell you guys about my adventure to make the light bulb. I don't really remember because I'm very old, but I'll try. So we're all I know is that it wasn't easy. It took several um, years for me and my team to make it. And we failed a lot of time, but then a miracle happened. Uh, on New Year's Eve, we were all happy because the light bulb actually worked. And that's how I remembered it. Today, we still use light bulbs in many different ways. My invention is the laser. The acronym of laser founded by Charles H. Towns is Light, Amplification, Simulated, Emission, and Radiation. What makes the laser a system is it soaks up energy from one form of light energy from one form and then gives off a new form of light energy which makes it more useful. Here we have Theodore Maiman. He was the first inventor to make the ruby laser in 1960. Here we have two pictures of the ruby laser. A ruby laser is a solid state laser that uses a that uses a synthetic ruby crystal as it gains medium. It was the first type of laser invented and was first operated by Theodore H. Ted Maiman at Hudges Research Laboratories. Next, we have Charles H. Towns. Charles H. Towns was the inventor of the laser maser. He worked on a theory and appl application on the maser. Now the maser is like an upgrade from the ruby laser. So this laser maser is more powerful than the ruby laser, even though this one uses a ruby crystal. Now you may be wondering, well, what is the laser maser? Well, answer, the maser, which is a predecessor of the laser and emitted microwave was first built in 1953. Some of the first work done on the laser was started in 1957 by Charles H. Towns and author Leonard at Bell's lab. Last, we have Gordon Gold. He was an American physics credited by the laser. Gold was best known to be the, to attend in the 30 year fight of the United States American patent. So he was able to sell the laser for a period of time. Now you may be wondering, well, what does the word patent mean? Well, the word patent mean is it's a paper that came from the United States government and then it, allow, it allows the inventor of an uh, invention to sell it for a period of time. Now you, you also may be wondering, well, why is it still being, why is the laser still being sold? Well, the laser has been upgraded highly. So it's still being sold and it's very useful. Like how we're about to talk about right here. Lasers are used in practically everything. Example, the healthcare field, customer product, consumer products, and diamond cutting. Here, we have a picture of a consumer product with a barcode on it. This bright light right here is a laser. And you may be wondering, well, why isn't that laser burning through the consumer product? Well, there's two types of laser. There's the hot laser and a non-hot laser, which the non-hot laser is a laser is used for light shows. So, lasers are used to scan consumer products and then determine the price for the person to pay. So, if we didn't have these lasers, things will be much different. Next, we have eye surgery, which is in the healthcare field. Lasers are also used in the healthcare field. For example, they're used for eye surgery. Last, we have diamond cutting. 
Another way lasers can be used is cutting diamonds. Lasers are so hot, they can cut through a diamond. So you should know right there that they're not for kids and nothing to play with. And that's all for my poster. Bye, guys. Hi, everyone. My name is Joanna Rizos, and I'll be doing the Shoemaker video made by Jan and his massage. Jan Massage was born in Panama in 1852. Massage settled in the United States in 1873 and trained as a shoemaker. He died with tur tuberculosis on August 24th, 1889. This is his, his, the shoemaker. This part of the shoemaker makes it turn. When you push the pedal, it moves, and you put the shoe here, and, the and it will start drilling nails in the shoe and the thread. Facts about Matt Slice's invention is that it took over 1,000 parts to build it. How is this invention a system? This invention is a system by it makes different types of shoes. Why has the system been made? This system has been made was made because of the increase of the availability availability of shoes. What would happen if this system was never made? If this system was never made, the people in the world would not have would not have any shoes to wear. How does the system work? Shoemaker pe shoemaker people make shoes by their hands and tools. Who invented this system? Jan Anderson Mathlogic. How has the system changed over the years? It changed by make by making it with with making it with machines instead of hands working it out. How has your system made life easier or harder? Easier because we can wear shoes now instead of walking barefoot. How was your how has the system affected the environment? It affected the environment by wearing things on our feet. The diffuser told by Neil Mario Albrecht. Have you ever heard of a diffuser? Maybe not. Maybe yes. Well, my invention is a diffuser, and the diffuser is a machine that sprays essential oil, and it can last five minutes to two hours. The creator of the diffuser is Earl Sevy. One reason it can last long. Second reason it can spray your favorite senses of smell. Last reason makes your room smell good. In this essay, I will tell you everything about the diffuser and the creator. To begin, it lasts long. A diffuser can last up to five minutes or up to two hours. A diffuser changed life by, ma by making things smell good. If the diffuser was never created, things in the world might be smelling bad. It works by adding essential oil in, in it, and then you turn it on or plug it in, and it just sprays the scent. Next, it can spray your favorite senses. A diffuser doesn't only spray things, it can spray your favorite senses that you want or like. It has made life easier for public who struggle with cleaning or have problems. It changed the years by allowing people to keep houses or public places clean. It, made, it was made to help you keep the house smelling clean. To continue with it, it to continue with it makes your room smell good. If a person is sick and does not feel good enough to clean the to clean the diffuser, help by making it smell good and not bad. If the invention was never made, houses, rooms, bathroom, extension cord probably would have smelled bad. Diffusers are an invention that can make anything smell really good. In conclusion, a diffuser makes your house or any place smell good. If it can, if it can last long, and the spray is your favorite scent. The fuses have made life easier since 1999, and thanks to Earl Savvy, they even help around the house if you have it clean. Question one: How is your invention a system? My invention of the fuser is an auto machine that dispenses essential oils so your place can smell good. Room, classroom, house, living room, extension cord. Question to describe your system. A machine that sprays essential oil into the air with a good smelling scent. It also makes things have a better scent to it. Question three, why was your system made? The purpose of an essential oil diffuser is to spread the aroma of essential oils throughout a home, deodorizing and purifying the air, make, 
making a room smell great. Question four, why would, what would happen if your system was never made? Then you will always have to sp spray for breeze every single time, but with the diffuser, you don't have to. You could let the diffuser do the job. Five, how does your system work? Essential oil diffusers work by dispersing essential oil into the air to be inhaled and easily absorbed by the body. Essential oil diffusers can also kill bacteria and fungus. Question 6. Who invented your system? Earl Sevy and his wife, Deanne Sevy. Question 7. How has your system changed over the years? People have started to create different diffusers like a nebulizing, ultrasonic, heat, and evaporate diffusers. How has your system made life easier or harder? It made life easier because, like, who would like to keep spray for breeze in their house every day? Just buy a diffuser. Plus, it kills bacteria and fungus. Question 9. How has your system affected the environment? Essential oil required plants, and earth need plants for medicine. And so the bees can spread the pollen so the flowers can grow. Hi, my name is David. My project is about the steam engine, and these are the nine questions about it. How does the steam engine work? The steam engine works by heat that converts into steam that then pushes pressure to the piston that makes the wheels move. How much did a steam engine cost? It cost it, it cost five million dollars to buy a steam engine. How much how many years did it take to build a steam engine? It took 18 years to make the steam engine. Who invented the steam engine? In 1698, and Thomas Savory invented the steam engine. It was upgraded over the years by Edward Somerset and Edward Huber. Was it a good invention? Yes, because it it made things more faster. What did they use it for? It was used for cargo. Where where was it invented? It was invented in England. Hi, I'm Wilbur Wright. I was born in Millville, Indiana. And I was born in 1867 on 16th of April. And I died when I was 45 in 1912 on 30th of May. And I died of typhoid fever. Me and my younger brother Ar Orville invented the first successful airplane ride in 1903, the Wright Flyer. A cool fact about airplanes that they were once wood, now they are metal. The airplane today is one of the most popular ways to get place to place. The airplane is one of the most safest ways to travel. An airplane, a lot of airplanes are good. There can be some bad effects to airplanes. Like when airplanes fly, they spill oil when it's flying. The Wright brothers paved the way to where our airplanes are today. If it weren't not for them, we would still be
three. Hey everyone, my name is Priscilla, and this is the man who created the first bike, the first electric bike in 1897. His name is Hosea W. Libby. He is a bio bottle, but he's made out of fondant. So basically, you can eat his ace off. So, um, right here, it shows my my questions and answers about the electric bike that he made. And here it shows a copy of my essay that I that I wrote on the computer, since I can't write on the paper. And it talks about the electric bike. One thing that it changed since the first time he made it, because when he made it, it was just a bike with a motor, which made it electrical. But Today, um, the electric bikes, they go much faster, they're made out of steel, and they cost a lot of money. A lot of money. And uh, another thing is, you can ride it on, on dirt, so you don't have to be in the road or in the sidewalk. But that motor, it also causes to put pollution in the air. So it's also a good, also a bad thing at the same time. That's it. Bye. The inventor that I am going to talk about is Benjamin Franklin. He is a founding father, polymath, inventor, scientist, printer, politician, Freemason, diplomat. He helped draft the U.S. Constitution and the Declaration of Independence. He negotiated the 1783 Treaty of Paris, ending the Revolutionary War. He owned the Pennsylvania Gazette. He died in... In April 17, 1790. This is about Thomas Edison and some facts about him. And these are some facts, but the essay is on the back right here. So, Benjamin Franklin was born on February 11th, 1847 in Millen, Ohio. Thomas Edison's full name is Thomas Alva Edison. 32 years later, Edison created the light bulb, December 31st to be exact. Thomas later had six children, but he didn't have the best relationship with his son William because Thomas stayed at the lab for hours and the reason why he did that is because he wanted to build a man of his self to show his four sons that he was a man and how to treat women and how to work. He only had he had two daughters and four sons. And then some facts about Thomas Edison is that Thomas Edison's full name is Thomas Alba Edison and Thomas' birthplace was Millen, Ohio. He was born on February 11, 1847. He died on October 18, 1931. He invented the light bulb when he was 32. Hello, citizens of America. Hello, I'm Randy, 
and today I will be presenting the PS4. It's super cool. You can play unlimited games. This is the coolest thing ever since the PS3 was invented. Now, let's learn more about it. It is an 8th generation home video game console developed by Sonic Interactive Entertainment. The console's controller was also redesigned and improved over the PlayStation 3 with interactive improved buttons and analog sticks. Cool, right? And an integrated touchpad among other changes. My system is an interactive gameplay that is always ready to play, save data, and to have lots of fun. Which is enter and play. It's and it's super cool. It's on sleep. When it's on sleep mode, it charges the controls and professional job altering my 19. 84 at the age of 18 he had a major hit of the game marble madness and since his career had taken him around the world dozens of times and he got the idea to make the ps4 and that's lots of evidence from him from the ps4 architect mark Henry. let's learn more so the ps4 was released to meet the demand on the market for new consoles like the Wii U, because Sony was ready to and to improve more similar de development platform for Sonic's party titles and those who wish to release their game onto Sony systems it is worthy to buy a PS4 these days because it's the best. The PS4 comes with a power cable, an HDMI cable. One Dash Look 4 controller, the one that I'm holding, and a micro USB cable to charge it. It also comes with a mono headset, so games can be used for voice chat. The contents of the box are important because the HDMI is the only connection with the PS4 works. The PS4 has involved by hanging more than 500 gigabytes and it's skinnier and it has Bluetooth if the ps4 was invented I think many people would not see Sony movies and play and the playstations wouldn't be famous also I think people wouldn't be using Nintendo more and people wouldn't like the like games or game inspired by movies like Ratchet and Clank. Now it's played by people like me. The PS4 has helped on making people see games in a new way. It has made people love the PlayStation Company and now we're getting ready for a new phase that is PS5. How does it make life easier, you say? The PS4 is 4S 8.9 billion kilogram carbon footstep eaves out of the environment. Impacts pollution that end up in a carbon soaked atmosphere. Aches. The controller's limithin on battery is some kind of chargeable technology powered by electric cars that are totally amazing. So my conclusion is of these paragraphs that the PS4 is super amazing and the future is bright. The world will be changed forever. The PS4 will make a big appearance. Like how the PS5 already is famous and it hasn't even gotten on stock. But it is cool. This is the future and we're the future of PlayStation evidence. And evidence from Google, presentation from Randy. And my character that made it is Mark Sendry. Hope you guys love PlayStation 4. Because this is the future.